بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آئی ہوپ یو آل ول بی فائن ویلکم ٹو یور لیکچر نمبر ٹو بٹ بفور ڈیپ ڈائیونگ ان ٹو لیکچر نمبر ٹو لیٹس ہیو اری کیپ آف یور پریویس لیکچر بفور گوئنگ ان ٹو دا ڈیٹیلس آف بزنس پروسیس مینجمنٹ we explored business process we discussed manual business processes and automated business processes we also deep dive into the difference of both manual and automated business processes we also discussed key reasons of for having a well defined business process we saw how various key factors of a successful business can be achieved by a well defined business process next we had business process life cycle we talked about various steps involved in the business process life cycle lastly we discussed different types of business processes so that was a flashback of our previous lecture let's start with our today's lecture in today's lecture we will start with an introduction to business process management we will talk about the three key components of business process management we will also explore business process management life cycle further each process of business process management life cycle will be explored individually as well so let's start with our today's lecture business process management Business process management is an integrated set of processes, methodologies, matrices and applications designed to derive the overall financial and operational performance of an enterprise. It is a discipline in which people use various methods to discover, model, analyze, measure, impose, optimize and automate business process. so we can see any combination of methods used to manage a company's business processes is business process management business process management help organizations translate their strategies and objectives into plan monitor performance against those plans analyze variations between actual results and planned results and adjust their objectives and actions in response to this analysis in business and trade literature process management has a number of names including corporate performance management or cpm enterprise performance management or epm strategic enterprise management or sam business performance management or bpm in this course we will use the term business performance process management because business process management refer to the business processes methodologies used by organizations to measure monitor and manage business business performance in business world it is a misconception that business process management is a huge expensive or that it is only worth it for massive processes however no matter whether your business is big or small business process management is very important and plays a vital role in the success of any business So business process management consists of three key components. Number 1 is a set of integrated closed loop management and analytic processes supported by technology that addresses financial as well as operational activities. Number 2 is tools for businesses to define strategic goals and then measure and manage performance against those goals. third a core set of processes including financial and operational planning consolidation and reporting modeling analysis and monitoring of key performance indicators linked to organizational strategy 
बिजनेस प्रोसेस मैनेजमेंट इज स्ट्रेटेजी ड्रिवन इट इनकम्पसेज अ क्लोज लूप सेट ऑफ प्रोसेस दैट लिंक स्ट्रेटेजी टू एग्जीक्यूशन इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव ऑप्टिमाइजेशन अंडरस्टैंड दिस साइकिल इंप्लॉयज दैट ऑप्टिमम परफॉर्मेंस इज अचीव बाय सेटिंग गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव स्टैब्लिशिंग इनिशिएटिव एंड प्लान टू अचीव दो गोल्स मॉनिटरिंग एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस अगेंस्ट द गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड लास्टली टेकिंग करेक्टिव एक्शन एंड मैयर्स so let's explore each process individually so our first process is strategize strategy is a method or plan chosen to bring about a desired future the term is often used in combination with a variety of other terms such as strategic vision and strategic focus so regardless of the differences in meaning they all address the same question that is where do we want to go in future strategic plan is the answer to the above question without specific goals and objectives it is difficult to evaluate alternative courses of action without specific priorities there is no way to determine how to allocate resources among the alternative alternatives selected without plan there is no way to guide the actions among those working on the alternatives without analysis and evaluation there is no way to determine which of the opportunities are succeeding or failing goals objectives priorities plans and critical thinking are all part of a well defined strategy typically strategic planning starts at the top and begins with the enterprise wide view so let's talk about common processes of a strategic plan number 1 is conduct a current situation analysis situation analysis is basically the process of critically evaluating the internal and external conditions that affect an organization situation analysis provides you the knowledge to identify the current opportunities and challenges to your organization services or product so this really helps in developing a strategic plan for your organization second process is determine the planning horizon when you are preparing a strategic plan you need to define the planning horizon which describes the amount of time an organization will look into the future when preparing a strategic plan a general planning horizon is around 1 year uh, but companies can have different planning horizons according to their needs and interests like 3 years 4 year, 5 years next we need to conduct an environmental scan environmental scans are extremely helpful in shaping your goals and strategies it is the ongoing tracking of trends and occurrences in an organization's internal as well as external environment that bears on its success next process is identifying critical success factors identification of critical success factors also known as key result areas are very important these are the areas of your business or project that are vital to your organization's success 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू परफॉर्म अ गैप एनालिसिस इट इज बेसिकली एन एग्जामिनेशन एंड असेसमेंट ऑफ योर करंट परफॉर्मेंस फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ आइडेंटिफाइंग द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन योर करंट स्टेट ऑफ बिजनेस एंड वेयर यू वुड लाइक टू बी इन फ्यूचर देन वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ स्ट्रेटेजिक विजन स्ट्रेटेजिक विजन इज बेसिकली वट योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होप टू बिकम the business you will be you will have to be in future strategic vision plays a very vital role in the success of your business according to a research in harvard business review of tens of thousands of working people around the world according to them strategic vision statement differentiates leaders from non leaders so you see strategic vision is very vital process next develop a business strategy business strategy is a very powerful tool for achieving your business goals in defining strategies and tactics you need to take within your organization it also helps in many of your organizational decisions for example hiring a new employee now what is business strategy business strategy refers to the actions and decisions that a company takes to reach its business goals and be competitive in its industry it defines what the business needs to do to reach its goals which can help guide the decision making process for hiring and resource allocation business strategy helps different departments work together ensuring departmental decisions support the overall direction of your organization last process is about the identification of strategic objectives and goals goal is a broad primary outcome and uh, objective is a measurable step you take to achieve a goal so these are the processes of a, uh, of strategic planning now it's one thing to create a long term strategy and another to execute it strategic strategic gap refers to the gap between the current performance of an organization and its desired performance as expressed in its mission objectives goals and the strategy for achieving them over the past couple of decades a number of surveys have highlighted the gap that routinely exists in many organizations between their strategic plan and the execution of those plans the reason for strategic gap are varied although many studies pinpoint one of the following four reasons number 1 is communication communication plays a vital role in the successful implementation of a strategy or strategic gap we talked about earlier that strategic plan starts at top and begins with an enterprise wide view so if top management fails to effectively communicate strategy that results in the strategic gap in many organizations a very small percentage of employees understand the organizational strategy let's suppose if the employees have never seen or heard about strategic plan it is though not impossible but it is very difficult for employees to make decisions and act in accordance with the strategic plan now in other situation even when the plan is communicated and employees know about the plan the strategy often lacks clarity so that no one is quite sure whether their actions are in line or at variance with the plan 
नेक्स्ट इज अलाइनमेंट ऑफ रिवॉर्ड्स एंड इंसेंटिव्स लिंकिंग पे टू परफॉर्मेंस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सक्सेसफुल एग्जीक्यूशन हाउर इंसेंटिव प्लान आर ऑफन लिंक टू शॉर्ट टर्म फाइनेंशियल रिजल्ट नॉट टू स्ट्रेटेजिक प्लान और इवन टू स्ट्रेटेजिक इनिशिएटिव आर्टिकुलेटेड इन ऑपरेशनल प्लान Palladium Group in 2007 indicated that 70% of organizations fail to link middle management incentives to their strategy. Next reason according to the research is focus. Management often spend spend time on periphery of issues rather than concentrating on the core elements. or can be spent debating line items on a budget with little attention given to the strategy the linkage of financial plan to strategy or assumptions underlying the linkage however palladium once again palladium group in 2007 suggested that in many organizations 85% of managers spend less than 1 hour per month discussing strategy so last reason according to researcher is resources unless strategic initiatives and are properly funded and resourced their failure is virtually assured according to palladium again in 2007 they found that less than 40% of organizations tied their budget to their strategic plan so i think that is enough for today's lecture we will study the remaining process of business process management life cycle in lecture number 3 let's have a summary of what we have discussed so far in today's lecture we studied what is business process management we deep dive into all the important details of business process management we explored key components of business process management we talked about business process management life cycle there are four processes in business process management life cycle but in today's lecture we studied the first process only uh, that is strategy the remaining processes uh, will be covered in our next lecture so that was our today's lecture thank you so much for your time may allah pak bless you all allah hafiz